तो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कनेक्टिंग माई सीक्वल फ्रॉम पी एच पी ओके तो हाउ यू कैन डू दिस देर आर टू फंडामेंटल मेन मैथड्स मेन टेक्निक्स ऑन विच देर लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस अमंग द प्रोग्रामर्स एंड दे आर वेरी इमोशनल अबाउट इट वी वी डोंट गो इन टू द इमोशंस वी विल ओनली प्रजेंट द फैक्ट्स बिफोर यू एंड इट इज अप टू यू टू डिसाइड देन आई ऑल्सो गिव यू अ सैम्पल ऑफ हाउ द कनेक्शन इज मेड हाउ द कनेक्शन इज मेड एंड देन हाउ द एरर मैसेजेस आर हैंडल्ड एंड दे शुड बी हैंडल्ड इन एन इंटेलिजेंट वे द सिस्टम शुड नेवर बी अलाउड टू क्रैश एंड फाइनली हाउ द डेटा इज गोइंग टू बी रेड सो दिस इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल सो दैट दिस आउटलाइन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन नाउ लेट एस गो एंड लुक एट दिस टू main ways of connecting two main ways let's let's look at them so i have this mysqli method and the pdo method now the mysqli method is the most complete method it has a very comprehensive access and it has procedural as well as object oriented interfaces now the the downside is that there is so much functionality there are so much features that it can be or it is overwhelming for somebody who is new in this domain right however if you think that php is going to be your future then this is the approach you should be adopting understood the other approach is the pdo php data objects which sits between mysql server and the php engine that's where it is right and nice and simple clean classes nice and simple clean classes and whatever you are doing you can do it with less learning you can do a lot with less learning and it talks to different databases the big 3 databases so to say so these are the differences between these two approaches i believe you understand this now how do we make a connection okay we make the connection which consists of three parts okay which consists of three parts which is the dsn which is the username and which is the password so what is dsn dsn is the database source name it is simply a string that describes attributes of the connection such as the type of database system the location of the database and the database name okay for example the following dsn can be used to connect to a mysql database called my database running on the same machine as the php engine okay over here if the host isn't specified it is the local host so putting everything together this is what we have right so when you are finished with the connection you should close it so that is freed up for other scripts to use although the php engine usually closes connection so how do you close it you just assign null value to it and it closes the connection i believe this thing is clear to you handling the errors okay to set the pdo to raise exceptions whenever database error occurs you use the pdo set attribute method to see and set your pdo objects error mode as follows okay this is what you do over here and now you can capture any error that might occur when connecting to the database by using a try catch okay try and catch over here code block if you are writing a sophisticated application you would probably log the error messages to a file and possibly send an email to the webmaster now php runs the code within the try block if an exception is raised by the pdo the catch block stores the pdf exception in the over here okay then displays the error message with this over here so things are very clear i believe okay and for example if the dollar password variable in the script contained an incorrect password you would see a message like this appear when you run the script this is the message i am talking about so reading the data is straightforward so what you do is that now you connected your database in your php script you can read some data from the database using the select statement to send sql statements to the mysql server you use the query method of the pdo object 
okay what you do you use this over here if your sql statement returns rows of data as result set you can capture the data by assigning the result of over here like this and of course the result returned by dollar con this thing over here is actually another type of object called a pdo statement object you can use this object along with the for each loop over here and this way you are reading the data and handling everything and this is what is covered and which is part of this module thank you very much